Hello again, welcome back to the channel Daily Dose of Mathematics. Okay, so the last class what we have studied is trigonometry identities. So in this class also we will continue with the trigonometry identities. So first we have studied first we have studied trigonometry identities sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Here I'm we are going to study sex square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 so how to prove this one sec square means sec theta means 1 by cos theta what is 1 by cos theta 1 by b by h okay what is 1 by b by h this is equal to h by b so sec theta is equal to sec theta is equal to b by h so sec square theta will be what h square by b square okay similarly what is the tan theta tan theta is equal to p by b okay but tan square theta will be the square of p by b so it is going to be p square by b square okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this sec square theta and this tan square theta here it is equal to h square by b square minus p square by b square so what is the lcm lcm is b square then it's going to be h square minus p square but we know from the pythagorean theorem h square is equal to p square plus b square right so here h square plus p square is there here you can see that this is h square minus p square but from this formula we need to bring what is h square minus p square okay so h square minus p square will be is equal to b square this p square if i am going to bring it to the left hand side it is going to be h square minus p square okay so what is h square minus p square exactly this is going to be b square so i am going to replace this h square i am going to replace this h square plus p square here in b square okay so is equal to b square by b square so b square by b square will be what one so sec square plus theta minus tan square theta is equal to one this is the original formula so we can bring we can formulate different formula from this main formula so what is the formula sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one so from this formula we can derive sec square theta is equal to 1 if this minus tan square theta if it comes to right hand side it is going to be plus tan square theta so it is going to be 1 plus tan square theta okay so sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta if i'm going to make square root both side it is going to be like this so sec theta this sec, because what is sec square theta sec, sec square theta is equal to sec theta into sec theta no square root is equal to 1 plus tan square theta no square root hala ta mane amar je dita achi dita thile ame tole square root koru tame gote nau to is equal to sec theta is equal to what root over of 1 plus tan square theta okay this is the formula that we have derived so another formula also we can write from this formula again what uh, sec square theta this one if i'm going to take this side and this tan square theta if i'm going to take this side so plus here it is plus but if echo the epoch is minus echo so it is going to be minus echo also tan square theta thila the tan square theta the epoch right hand side asle plus tan square theta asila hala so it is going to be then make square root both side sec square theta minus 1 square root is equal to tan square theta ro square root then sec square theta minus 1 ro square root is equal to tan theta okay this is the answer we have got okay so another identity is there we are going to describe 
means we are going to di discover so the identity is what cos x square theta minus cot square theta is equal to what one but we know that what is cos x theta cos x theta is nothing but one by sin theta but what is sin theta sin theta is equal to p by h so it is going to be h by p right then what is uh, cot theta cot theta is nothing but what 1 by tan theta but what is tan theta exactly 1 by p by b so it is going to be b by p okay so if i'm going to make square both side so it is going to be square both side so it is going to be h square by p square okay similarly if i'm going to make square of uh, this cot theta then it is going to be again square so it is going to be what b square by p square okay so what happens here i am going to replace this value instead of cos x, uh, cos x square theta instead of cos x square theta i am going to replace h square by p square and instead of cot square theta i am going to replace b square by p square so here it is going to be what h square by p square minus b square by p square okay so lcm is what p square and h square minus b square but again from the pythagorean theorem h square is equal to p square plus b square so h square will be h square minus b square will be what is equal to p square so i am going to replace this h square minus b square is equal to p square here so uh, p square by p square so p square by p square is nothing but what p square by p square nothing but one okay so this is the that's why this is the value so from this formula also we can derive different different formula similarly cos x square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one this is the original formula okay so from this formula we can write we can write cos x square theta if i'm going to bring this cot square theta to right hand side it is going to be one plus cot square theta so cos x square theta square root i will make square root one plus cot square theta so is equal to cos x square theta is equal, sorry the this one will cancel out each other which one the square root and the square will cancel out each other so it is going to be what one plus cot square theta similarly you can write cot theta is equal to what cosec square theta minus one raw square root this is also another formula you need to remember so from this formula we have derived this one and from this formula we have derived this one okay now we are done with the identity proper things now i'm going to describe a little bit more see quadrants okay quadrants what is the quadrants here you can see this is the quadrant means this is the okay now i will take this is x axis this is a positive x axis okay this is a positive one because here it is zero here it is zero okay here it is zero so from right hand side it is positive x axis and here it is negative x axis and from here to upside it is positive y axis and to down and side it is negative y axis okay positive y axis negative y axis so uh since we know that this quadrant we are going to study quadrant so it is a first quadrant this is a second quadrant and this is a third quadrant and this is a fourth quadrant first quadrants ranges from this is zero degree from zero to how much from 0 to 90 okay from 0 to 90 it is first quadrant then then 
from 90 to 180 this is going to be second quadrant then from 180 to 270 this is going to be third quadrant and from 270 to 360 again again that is equal to zero so it's a first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant okay what this from here to here see if you are moving to this side it means you are moving in an anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise clockwise direction na kai na ghanta ghanta kono so but empty move kare apart move kare na ghanta ghanta but when you are measuring angle you are moving from this side that's why it is an anti-clockwise direction so you are if you are starting from zero and you are going in this direction anti-clockwise direction then it is going to be what up to here it is 90 degree it is 90 degree okay up to here from here to here it is 90 degree then from 90 to here it is what 180 degree this is 180 degree okay and here to here it is 270 degree and from here to here again it is what 360 degree okay but it is going to 0 degree again first quadrant first quadrant is from 0 to 90 second quadrant is from 90 to 180 and third quadrant is from 180 to 270 and fourth quadrant is from 270 to 360 so this is in degree but to measure angle there is also another parameter that is called radian okay so pi radian pi radian means that is equal to 180 degree okay basically pi radian is equal to 180 degree so we can write instead of 180 degree we can write this is equal to pi okay so what exactly 90 degree 90 degree means what is equal to what 180 degree divided by 2 but 180 degree means what pi radian the pi radian by 2 so 9 instead of 90 degree we can write 9 uh, pi radian by 2 okay instead of 90 degree we can write pi radian by 2 so it is equal to pi by 2 also we can say so now 270 270 means how we can write 270 270 is nothing but 3 into 90 but 3 into what is 90 90 is nothing but pi radian by 2 so 3 pi by 2 we can write 270 means 3 pi by 2 so this 270 also we can write 3 pi by 2 okay now what is 360 360 is nothing but what 4 into 360 we can write is equal to 4 into 90 degree but 4 into what is 90 exactly 90 means pi by 2 so 2 to cancel out each other so it's going to be 2 so 2 pi okay pi means 180 180 into 2 is equal to 2 pi so this is equal to 2 pi 2 pi also that is equal to 0 okay because it is a 0 to 90 okay now you've understood what exactly uh, means if something is given to us in a degree then how to convert them into radian also you understood okay so how to how to convert that suppose here we know that pi radian is equal to 180 degree it means what is one radian one radian is equal to 180 by pi right so this is uh, now we we can we can understand means if something is jodi amgu konje year di aithibo degree aithiba how to convert into radian jodi radian di aithiba how to convert into degree jete bale degree di aithiba radian convert kora gole this is the formula okay amgu jodi degree di aithibo radian ra convert kora gole this is the formula jodi amgu degree di aithibo you need to convert into radians means we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 so now if you will say that uh, what is 45 degree 45 degree means you multiply 45 here okay For, 45 45 degree is equal to pi radian by 180 into 45 so 45 how much it is it is going to be 4 so 45 is equal to pi by 4 okay so here you can see here you can see this is what this is completely from here to here it is 180 degree now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this 180 degree into four pieces exactly in equal four pieces okay so i'm going to split how 
Okay, this is one. Okay, now up from here to here it is 45. Then from here to here it is how much? 90. Then from here to here it is 135. Then from here to here it is how much? 180 degree. Okay, so each piece is here, each piece is what? Here, each piece is 180 degree. This is 45. This is 45. This is 45. Then this is 45. Okay. There are four 45 pieces are there. That's why one piece means 45 means the or so you see row Charibaguru Bhage Uchi get the 45. That's why so you see money get them. Pi Charibagamani pi by four. That's why I'm going to write 45 degrees equal to but pi by 4 45 degree is equal to pi by 4 okay you want to do this one now there is one conversion from uh, trigonometry uh, function to another function okay so got a formula mana rakho after school to college after school mane is a fast quadrant jo chi a fast quadrant jo chi a quadrant jo chi hala you can see this one is a fast quadrant jo chi a fast quadrant man it 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 is a after tapar next asila second quadrant after school tapar next asila third quadrant after school to tapar next quadrant asila after school to college ta mane it all trigonometric signs are positive it all are positive mane all mane kon sin theta cos theta tan theta positive ta mane sin role ta kon cosec bhi positive Cos row inverse cos row mane korje uh, one by cos mane kate sec sedai positive abo. one by ten mane cot sedai positive abo. see the way age of first quadrant ray all trigonometry identities are uh, trigonometry functions are positive Bujela? now in the second quadrant after school right school only sin theta is positive the sin theta positive are inverse kate one by sin sedai positive abo. one by sin is equal to cosec cosec b positivity hala same with the next kono eta hochi eta hochi kono eta hochi after school now 10th theta 10th theta mane a quadrant re a quadrant re 10th theta hochi positive jodi 10th theta positive hela ta mane 1 by 10th theta b positive hebo 1 by 10th theta is equal to what cot theta cot theta positive 10th theta positive kodi 180 to kete 270 mane third quadrant re next cos theta it which cos theta positive cos theta jo the cos theta positive la mane sec theta bhi positive kai na sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta e positive a cos theta au sec theta ko positive na fourth quadrant fourth quadrant ko tranbo na 270 ru kete 360 bujela bujela na so you need to remember this one okay so i am going to stop here i am going to continue this trigonometric classes so please do watch the entire video if you have any doubt please do ask me and don't try to skip this video please do watch entirely so that i can take the online classes and i can have a doubt uh, clarification class while doing online classes okay thank you